Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So here I am again today. I'm talking about Master Core. With Master Core, it does lead to PlayStation 2 piracy on the 4 and the 5. Now, we're obviously hoping that other things can come out of this, but one question that keeps coming up over and over and over again is really, what do you need in order to pull this exploit off? So first off, in order to perform Master Core, you will need at least a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 that is on the latest firmware that has been activated with the PlayStation Network and a game, typically the game being Okage Shadow King, downloaded and installed to that device. Now, keep in mind what I'm saying here is, is that it would need to be not only just purchased, but it would also need to be downloaded and installed onto that console. And now the reason that I am saying that is, is that Right now, we're at 10.01 for the PlayStation 4. If it was downloaded and installed, then when the new update comes out, say it's PlayStation 4 10.02, then you would not have to update and you would still have Okage, Shadow King, or whatever game you selected still on your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation 5. And the other thing that you would need would be an exploitable PlayStation 4. And really, this is just to sign and to encrypt the game save of Okage, for example, that you have on your hard disk drive that you would then take off and put it on a USB drive. You would plug it into your computer and there's some sort of magic that happens that we still don't know about. And then after that, you would be able to plug that back into either your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 that is on the latest firmware and then copy that save as what was shown in Macaulay's video. And then another way is to obviously have these decapped SAMU keys. Now, if you have Save Wizard, then Save Wizard would really be all you would need to do in order to sign a game save file if you did not have a PlayStation 4 or that was already jailbroken. And so really where this gets interesting was that Echo Stretch said, so you're saying it won't work with disk games. And then we got a response back here. It said game delivery medium doesn't matter at all as long as it's a PS2 game emulated on PS4. And let me add some commentary to that. Any PlayStation 2 game that you see that is ever running on a PlayStation 4 is always going to be an emulated game. The architecture between the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 4 is different, meaning that the only way you can play a PS2 game on a PS4 is through emulation. And obviously why, if you've got a PlayStation 2 disc and you stick it in your PlayStation 4, absolutely nothing will happen. Now, the other thing that was mentioned here was that it has some form of in-game arbitrary code execution exploit. And now this is really the key thing here. It says it will work as the emulator aside from the tweak specifically for the game shipped with it is the same on all PS2 games. I believe what they're trying to state here is, is that the emulator is the same that runs all of the PS2 digital games as well as the physical games. And I do believe that that is correct. Now, let's go back to the question that we're really trying to solve here. Can you use a physical disk? Now, if we go over to the PS Dev Wiki, what we can see here for user mode exploits or game save data, these are the only ones that's listed. Grand Theft Auto 3, here's the vulnerability. Dark Cloud. Now, Dark Cloud is a bit interesting because this is triggered with the controller versus an actual save game. And then finally, the one that we've all been talking about, which is Okage, Shadow King, 
And here is a typical stack buffer overflow if you extend the player town name in a save data. Now, there's a lot of games or a lot of PlayStation 2 games that's actually been released on PSN. And really, here is a list of them. It says that there are 54 games that's on this list. And so if you go down through this list, say you just pick a random game like Fahrenheit, for example. Does Fahrenheit have a game save exploit that we could take advantage of? Well, the answer to that, at least I know with Fahrenheit, is, is that no, there isn't one, or not one that I'm aware of. Obviously, Grand Theft Auto 3 has the one that we mentioned in there. And then, you know, if we just kind of scroll down on through this, you'll see um, Okage is in there. And then a bunch of others like Resident Evil and some of these other ones. Now, I will say that while there is 54 supported games, at least as of this moment, and so when you really look through all of these, you really only find that there was, you know, the three that's mentioned right here, which is Grand Theft Auto 3, Dark Cloud, and Okage Shadow King that was on this. Now, I'm sure you might be thinking, okay, well, going back to the physical game releases, is there any PS2 games that match this right here? And from my investigation, there really isn't. Now, the best shot that I believe that we had at this was by Limited Run Games. Now, Limited Run Games, they're all about basically making physical media of games that traditionally would maybe be just digital. They want the hard copy to live on, in other words. Now, if we go to their site and we go and we filter through PlayStation 4 or even through PlayStation 5, you'll look at some of these titles. And for the most part, these are titles that are older titles. I can't find any of these that has any sort of exploit that is known for the PlayStation 2. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, that it's out there, but just looking through this catalog here, you have to have a game that has that ability, as that was mentioned here, to run arbitrary code execution. Now, if we take a look, even at the big list of all of Limited Run's games and all of the games that they have released, and maybe we come in here and we try to start doing a search for PlayStation 4, as I've got listed right here, you can start seeing some of the other PlayStation 4 games. And what you'll find in here is that those three games still aren't listed in here. Now, it is interesting because Limited Run Games has done things like release Destroy All Humans, for example, for the PlayStation 4, which is, again, a PlayStation 2 game, but that also doesn't have any sort of exploit that's inside of it. So I will leave you with this as I'm aware... So I will leave you with this. I'm not aware of any physical released games for the PlayStation 4 that has the ability to take advantage of a save game exploit, which is really why back in this original tweet, I did say that it has to have a PSN activated and downloaded and installed game in order to be able to pull this off in the future. And so that is really how I understand it. Let me know, is there a PlayStation 2 game that was re-released on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 in the disc format that also has a working save game exploit that we could take advantage of? All right, that's going to do it for this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!